NFL's all-time worst free agent signings, Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown, two former teammates, top the list of 10. Even though each free agent signing appears fantastic on paper, a lot of them have failed. A handful of these acquisitions have become legendary and are cautionary tales for modern general managers. Numerous NFL free agents will sign with new teams next week. A number of these acquisitions will benefit the player and his new team in the long run. Regretfully, when the dust settles, just as many signings will be considered failures. It's reasonable to assume that all 32 general managers in the NFL wish to avoid adding a player to the list of the worst free agent signings ever made at some point in time. After a contract dispute with the Steelers, one of the greatest running backs of all time, Harris signed with Seattle. After rushing for more than 1,000 yards in his final season in Pittsburgh, the Hall of Famer only managed 170 yards in eight games with the Seahawks. Brown received $9 million from the Patriots for catching four passes for 56 yards and a touchdown in a single game. After just one game, the Patriots swiftly released the former All-Pro wide receiver due to off-field concerns. After experiencing brief success in Tampa Bay, Brown was eventually released due to additional problems. The most lucrative wide receiver contract in NFL history at the time was signed by Risson thanks to a loan that the financially strapped Browns had to take out. Signing a five-year, $17 million contract, Risson caught less than half of his targets in a dismal season for the Browns, who made their move to Baltimore known during the season, and himself.